Let me just say that, like, I am very sympathetic of the people and in innocent lives that have been murdered um, in Gaza. Just as I am sympathetic to people that were murdered in Israel as well. I am not pro-free Palestine. I am not pro-Israel um, whatsoever. I'm definitely not pro-Israel because it, Israel is the one that is actually controlling my government and trying to pass hate speech laws to stop free speech against their narrative and to also get politicians to take away this app that many Americans have built a living off of because of the popularity of being free Palestine. And I'm fine with that, period. And I'm very anti-Israel. But this is the most stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's given equivalent to BLM with, like, the black square. And if you really think that blocking a billionaire such as Beyonce or Taylor Swift, you are stupid. You need to be stepping on the toes of your senators or your representatives. Like, wake up. Because they are the people that's contributing to this madness of the hate speech laws in America where you can't even criticize a Jew. Even if you're a Christian, you can't quote a Bible verse because it offends them. You can't criticize Israel because it offends them. You need to step on the heels of your government. It's them. And even if you are protesting on a college campus, it's not doing nothing. Of course, you should, like, you know, express your feelings about what's happening. Like, do that. But I just feel like this movement, and I'm not even a part of the movement. I'm just analyzing it. It's such a waste of space because y'all put your energy to things that doesn't matter. Like, y'all love this cancel culture thing. Like, if you think I'm going to, like, unfollow DJ Khaled, you got me messed up because I actually like DJ Khaled. I think he's funny. <laughs> like, I love him. And this is why I don't like uh, being a part of groups and stuff like that. I worry about me. I do me. And I um I make change by where I'm at. I call my senator. I call my representative. Thank God I have Thomas Massey as my representative because he's the one who does not like what's happening right now. He's pro-America first. He's pro not sending our tax dollars overseas to a foreign country that doesn't even like us. And he's not even for, like, APAC, the Jewish lobby that literally is trying to attack him because he doesn't want to send our hard-earned tax dollars to a foreign country. It's madness. Madness. And y'all all, y'all all over here thinking that it's all Jews. It's all Jews that that, that is, like, you know, um, anti-Palestinian. No, y'all better watch out for them Arabs, too. The pro-Zionist Arabs as well. Y'all think that it's only Jews. Oh, no, it's, pro, it's pro-Zionist Arabs out there, too, that even work for the Mossad. <laughs> y'all don't know anything. Y'all really don't. This is what I don't, I don't mess with y'all. I don't, I, don't even, I, I don't get into it with y'all. I don't. Y'all need to figure it out, for real. Because y'all message is getting clouded by so many people that is within your group that is against your whole entire message. <laughs>